Hi Taurus, Eray Taronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know what is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of the opportunities and assistance aspecting you, and even be able to look forward to the blessings. Now, remember, this is a weekly update, so it ranges from the 29th through the 4th. Be sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign video as it paints a clearer picture of what you're actually going to be dealing with this week. Now, if you don't know your placements, don't hesitate to contact me via uh, Facebook Messenger or you can email me at mentalchattermusings at gmail.com. Now, I would talk about our September newsletter because it does start th this week coming in, but um, I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to do that because I don't want to tell you guys who I am featuring just yet. I can tell you that I'm marrying the worlds of traditional literature with indie literature. So I will say that. Until then, continue to tap into this month's newsletter for a sneak peek into our novel spotlight of the month, which is role play by creative genius Tashonda Whitaker. Okay. Now, um, this month, we um, are having a bonanza. So not only are we giving away um, some cash gift cards to those of you who've left an Amazon review for Deadliest Intuition, but we are also giving away some copies of The Shortest Boss in the Room for your young entrepreneurs, along with books from our featured authors of September. So I can't tell you who it is though yet. So <laughs> let's keep going. Please don't forget to vote for the LCA or in the LCA 21 awards. The voting post can be found on my literary page, E. Ray Tyronic. Deadliest Intuition has been nominated for Best Plot Twist. I'm extremely honored and humbled to be nominated. And thank you to those of you who believe in me and who have already voted for me and are going to vote for me. Now, on Clubhouse, Diane Rampert is back tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with author Quan to discuss Animal 5, so please don't hesitate to tap into that. Also, Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group ICU Reading and Chatting is still going on like it is every week where authors give you their impromptu freestyles according to a subject of the ladies choosing. If you want to participate as an artist, don't hesitate to contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting. Now let's get into what we are going through this week. Virgo season is in full swing. Let's get everything set in stone, okay? Before Mercury retrograde shadow period comes in around the 7th, the shadow period. If you have any placements within three degrees of the degree that I mentioned, this will affect you more heavily. And the Sun and Mars is still in Virgo, illuminating challenges where you have, um, as far as work held daily routines, but for you, it's more so the challenges you're having in creativity, in uh, romantic with romantic partners and with your children okay it's illuminating those challenges there as it pertains to your debt you guys daily routines you guys health uh, you being of service to them and things like that anyway today the Sun is in Virgo it's in that sector your sector of romance creativity play children all right it's squaring the nodes in Gemini and Sagittarius so it's squaring your money back and forth it's squaring things you're passionate about you might not have the money that you need to do what you want to do with them or something could come up to where you're having to or maybe you're just spending too much money in those areas so you want to mind your lower vibrational tendencies on sunday and not spend too much money while you're out and about today keep your eyes on the prize and operate in your integrity okay um no no uh overindulging um to self-soothe uh, the moon in Taurus, uh, your sign, <laughs> is trying Pluto and Capricorn. So it's trying your transformation, okay, of self, your transformation of what you think and what you preach, your education and skills and things like that. And Mercury in Virgo, your sector of creativity, uh, romantic partners and children, um, is part of that, okay? It's part of that trying that's bringing that goodness as far as what you think and what you preach and the uh, communication you have in those areas transforming or how you communicate with them. But it's going to be square your uh, nodes of career, okay? So because it's squaring a uh, career, you want to make sure that, uh, hmm, how do I want to say this? Okay, all right. So the moon and Pluto, so you're feeling good about your transformation that you're making. Um, 
about what you think and preach within your creative endeavors and with your children and your significant other. But your career goals and people within career, it's squaring your career goals. Okay, so now you're having to balance the relationship between the two. That's what that is. Okay, it's kind of like a balancing act for you. You have luck there with Jupiter and Aquarius, so I wouldn't worry too much. Okay, just temper your responses. Okay, and um, make sure that you're balancing out the energy you're putting into career and you're putting into home and family. You don't want to go overboard in either area. Communication is going to come in about the transformation that you're making um, to your worth, your money, and your resources. Um, and it's the and it's about what you think and what you preach. Maybe even something you submitted or something uh, that you you wrote in or something like that. You could get news back as to um yeah something like that okay something you it, like i said it could be something you put in for um but nonetheless you need to put in the work within this partnership whatever news comes in you're still going to have to work you know on um let's see the sun is in virgo at six degrees on sunday so it says that someone could have their eyes on either your romantic partner, one of your creative works, or um, even a child. So you wanna be mindful of that, okay? If you're in a relationship, make sure you're both on the same page because outsiders need to remain just that. For you, like I said, Virgo is about your children, your creative works, and your romantic partner. So even when you're out and about hanging out, um, someone could have their eyes on what's yours whether it's your money and finances or whether it's literally that resource something you're passionate about as far as with your kids your lover or your creative endeavors somebody wants what's yours okay so be mindful of you trusting people on sunday and be mindful of the people that are around you and that you're dealing with on sunday on monday the 30th the sun is in virgo at seven degrees and it says success and generosity can prevail today so after work you want to take time to revel in your solitude go for a walk enjoy earth enjoy earth you know the many gifts that earth has to give you um now with the sun squaring series in gemini that's on monday you want to ask yourself what goals need nourishing and you want to stay on the ball as to nourishing those goals in communicate in in creative endeavors in romance with your children and things like that okay with its squaring series in gemini your money and resources don't use money to nourish things okay and maybe it's your your money and your resources that you need to be nourishing more and not overspending on those other areas on monday the moon in gemini is going to be conjunct the north node in series but it's going to be square the sun in virgo so the moon is going to be, um, uh, this is about your money and your resources. You'll be thinking about those. You'll be thinking about how can I make the most out of my money, you know, that I'm making. How can I take the money and resources that I have and forge toward my highest aspirations in that area, okay? But it's squaring nurturing. So you're doing too much. I mean, I hate to say it like that. You're spending too much money. You're exhausting your resources. So you want to stay on the ball and you want to stop doing that, okay? Um, on Monday, that's something that you could be doing, okay? So when you go knee-jerk to overspend, think about this video. <laughs> also on Monday, the moon in Gemini trine Saturn in Aquarius. So your money is going to be trining some type of look in career coming in, some type of foundation uh, or resources coming into you as far as career. The door is open to, and blessings are available for you to establish a solid foundation with friends and contacts, and your goals are within reach. Just stay focused, okay? Now, on the 30th, Mercury, uh, I think that's Monday too, uh, Mercury is going to enter Libra, okay? So communication and skills is going to be about partnerships in work partnerships and health partnerships during your daily routines partnerships where you are of service to others communication can get dicey on that day especially if it pertains to relationships or partnerships which it does try to keep things fair and balanced lest things can get out of whack okay if you're already on unsteady ground with somebody words can be exchanged at work or or where you are of service to someone if you've um 
Okay, so let's talk about it for the next 30 days because this is going to be for the next 30 days, you're going to be dealing with some things because Mercury is moving into Libra. And in this area, it's actually going to be more than 30 days because this is where Mercury is going to go retrograde at the end of the month. So it's going to stay in Libra for quite some time. Okay, so let's talk about this communication of skills that you're going to be dealing with for quite some time more than a month okay anyway this is about work health daily routines and where you are of service to others the friction is going to be uh, uh, basically people disagreeing with, with with what you think and what you preach that are at a distance from you people disagreeing with uh, your education and skills or or gossiping about it um travel if you're traveling near or far even around neighborhoods you want to be very careful towards because you have snags delays during travel um maybe even don't get into it with people road rage cussing people out people cussing you out people honking a horn at you getting upset you getting caught by a train on your way somewhere and not being able to get to where you want to get on time things like that you'll even have phone calls maybe even through uh traveling while you're traveling from a sibling or something like that that might kind of clash delays you might be late they might be late maybe you got to pick somebody up maybe a relative or a, a a sibling or something like that is sick and you got to help them you know bring them some soup or you know it could be anything like that because it's clashing with your area of networks of people neighborhoods uh, and things like that at work so not only will you be arguing with people at work or have snags and communication with people at work or people during travel you could actually have to travel for a sibling or be of service to a sibling or someone in home and family simply because it's the area of cancer and cancer is about home and family and uh, your third house is where your siblings are so you could very likely have to uh, snags and communication with a uh, sibling okay so you want to be mindful of that you're going to be dealing with that first for some time okay something is amiss with a relationship that you have within your networks of people and this could be somebody that you call sis or bro at work okay so you want to be mindful of that you're dealing with those snags not only in travel but in communication as it pertains to work health and daily routines for over 30 days you're dealing with this okay so keep your temper balanced you know you got to keep everything balanced this is going to be a balancing act for you okay for all of us because it's dealing with libra now as far as the good things let's talk about the good that's coming in in skills and communication for more than 30 days okay it's starting out at zero degrees and it'll go through and it'll move you know um uh, just you know keep up with your horoscope and it'll let you know i'll be letting you know where the degrees are and how it's affecting you on every sunday okay now as far as your assistance and opportunities to work health daily routines and where you are of service to others as it pertains to your relationship that's coming through home and family you assisting people in home and family and them them assisting you okay and this could be with things you're passionate about this could be with shared finances this could be with um this could be with, uh, you know, creating endings and new beginnings that you want to create in work, in health, in daily routines, and where you are of service to others, okay? You want to be mindful of your lower aspirations and the things that you want in money, share finances, and you want to be mindful, you know, the things that you do to make that money, the things you do to create that partnership in work, to, to generate that money things that you're passionate about you have the south node there so you're kind of prone to going for the lower vibration or people are coming to you and playing on your passions okay so you want to be mindful of that especially people at work or people that you are of service to do of service to during your daily routines even now as far as the blessings coming in you have blessings coming in uh, monetarily and in career so money coming your way with you being of service to people others resources coming your way with you being of service to others resources coming your way for pets resources coming your way for health resources coming your way and and the money and resources are coming through because of career or even through career you know uh like you could have re get, have resources in career period given to you to help your career okay you're going to be dealing with all of that for quite some time okay as far as communication and skills and stuff in that area 
Now let's talk about back to the single transits. On Tuesday, the 31st, like meanwhile, on Sunday, oh, I'm sorry, on Tuesday, the 31st, the sun is in Virgo at eight degrees. That says, uh, as far as romance, play, creativity, and children, do not allow your resources or your money gain to be misused by dishonorable or dishonest people in that area. Know the difference between your passion and your purpose. And this could be you deceiving yourself as well. Okay, so you want to be mindful of that and not be overspending on that day. The moon is trining Venus in Libra and Jupiter in Aquarius. So with the moon, your your sector of uh, the moon in your sector of personal money and resources, bringing blessings in, I would say, uh, work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others, where it has to do with career. That's money. You know, you could get some money or some type of lucky resource that comes into you in those areas, okay? Luck within some type of partnership could help you forge towards your north node. Um, you know, that's very possible for you. You just want to be mindful of the square in Virgo that brings challenges to uh, work, health, and daily routines as it pertains to your lover or as it pertains to that creative project or even your children, okay? It could even be about their health. Um, you know, you might have to, like I said, balance because you have some challenges crop up, even though you have those blessings coming in through work and you want to uh, garner those resources and use those resources and help them to, uh, nur to nourish them because Ceres is in Gemini as well. You're going to have things popping up in the way of romantic partners, creative endeavors and children where you're going to have to really put in the work and things like that. You know, just make sure you're not being delusional as to, you know, your social groups and your goals and things like that. Don't, don't, if a goal is not being accomplished or if your friends are getting in the way or you're having delusions about some friends or misconceptions about some friends, don't let it have you feeling defeated. Okay, you got to keep the wheel spinning in a positive direction and you can do this. See the truth about your situations. Okay, and handle them accordingly. You, you know what's up. Okay, it's, while you're seeing the truth about your situations, you need to not be in denial about you as well. What you are bringing to the table or what you might be causing as well. Okay, maybe even your image and career and in home and family. I just want you to be mindful of that. All right. And be mindful of how you let your mind play tricks on you this week, because not only will you have to worry about your mind playing tricks on you, but somebody else is is, is in the mix with the trickery as well, because that's aspecting for us all this week. Now, on Wednesday, September the 1st, the sun is in Virgo at nine degrees. So where you've been dealing with somebody that's mean or selfish or lackluster, something can be settled on Wednesday. And it could have to do with a marriage, a partnership, or someone you're in a relationship with, either a romantic partner, a child, or someone within a, a creative relationship, okay? Um, you know, maybe you've been even fighting over resources or they've been stingy over resources. Something can be settled on Wednesday, especially if you're around that nine degree mark. So that would be six to 12 degrees. Now the moon in Cancer squares Mercury in its beginning degrees of Libra on Wednesday as well. So if you have placements in that first 10 degrees, you're gonna feel this, okay? Partnerships within home and family could see snags and communication. Um, and this is your area of, uh, of, of siblings and your networks of people, maybe even your communities and your neighbors around you, all right? Um, this is where this square is to communication, so you could get into it with, with somebody in one of those sectors. Um, how uh, the moon is also, you know, sextile the sun in Virgo. So work, romantic partners, creative endeavors, and children, you could have some type of communication that comes in where someone is willing to assist you or you are willing to assist or you're having to assist them, okay? And when I said you have those snags in communication because of the moon squaring that area, um, you want to, okay, so let's see. 
you have opportunities and assistance that's illuminated within home and family that pertains to your work, health, pets, and daily routines. You can even have opportunities during your daily routines. And like I said, it will affect up to 12 degrees Virgo or Cancer placements. There's some assistance there, but, okay, so maybe it's assisting that snag in communication, okay? Maybe even you're getting over some snags in communication with a sibling, with a neighbor, or something like that. And now you have assistance there helping you in creative endeavors. You have assistance helping you during um, with a child or with a creative within a creative partnership. You have that help there. Um, but there's some type of yeah, that's good that somebody's helping you because somebody else you're you're fighting with or you're arguing with either at work or. Uh, somebody within your daily routines that you 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 know that you're dealing with but somebody else is coming in to help you or assist you with that okay I mean and it could be you helping somebody and assisting somebody with something else but likely it's probably you having those issues and somebody stepping in to offer you some type of assistance or opportunity to overcome whatever this is now on Thursday September the 2nd the Sun is in Virgo at 10 degrees so thinking clearly it's very highlighted mind your finances without prejudice pay your debts okay if you have any all right pay attention to your finances the moon in gemini around 19 degrees is squaring your goals and your friends and your social groups so you might not have the money like i said you want to do with uh friends or with social groups you might be uh have gone overboard so you want to balance your mental facilities okay balance your uh you know your delusion on this about your resources and what you have and don't overdo it there's a trying to jupiter and aquarius so there's a trying to your career as far as work health daily routines and where you are of service to others on that day on thursday so i'd say between 19 and 29 degrees lucky communication is going to come in through a partnership on thursday if you have those aspects um in aquarius or in um gemini uh between 19 and 29 degrees okay and with the moon uh in gemini being in conjunct with venus uh, this will be about relations, finance, and pleasurable times. So that communication within that partnership that comes in is going to be either about romance, either about finances, or you just having fun or, or going out and having fun um, within that partnership. Or you guys doing something that you love, okay, within that partnership. Now on Friday the 3rd, the sun is in Virgo at 11 degrees, and it says to watch out for a bit of trickery on Friday. Someone is not all they portray to be in the area of romance, children, or creative endeavors. Okay? The moon in, in your area of community, in your area of siblings, in your area of networks of people, it's squaring, it's squaring your finances, it's squaring your romance, it's squaring your pleasurable times in work. Or, in, or or where you are of service to somebody, okay? There's something uh, amiss there. And it's opposing your transformation in your education and skills, what you think and what you preach. So somebody is, okay. I mean, I'm just going to say it flat out. Either somebody is like lying to you or cheating you in the area of work health daily routines and where you are of service to others or or you're having some type of delays or snags in communication as far as what you think and preach maybe because uh you know we're getting ready to come up on the mercury retrograde shadow period maybe uh, something is being discussed with you through your networks of people or or somebody that you deal with on a regular basis somebody that you deal deal with routinely at least is talking about you about a transformation you're trying to make and they're letting you know the things you need to work on to make this transformation happen okay and part of it is not over exhausting your resources within that partnership all right maybe you don't want to push it too far you know what you're asking for or something but somebody's going to talk to you about that 
but like I said, there's trickery in the mix too, as far as somebody at work. So somebody could be like flat out lying to you. Um, as yeah, somebody could be flat out lying to you, um, about what you think and what you preach about your education and skills or where you might be like put in an application or applied for something. Somebody could be, somebody could either be lying to you or somebody could be hating on you. Yeah. Somebody could be like literally hating on you. You're trying to transform in a certain area and somebody else is holding you back or somebody's trying to hold you back. Luckily, the moon in your area of networks of people and siblings and things like that, it's gonna be trining your goals and your social groups. So insight, inspiration, and intuition could come in, that's a blessing, or somebody in that area, a friend or, or, or social groups, they're helping you to work around that person that's blocking you or talking about you or trying to, um, oppose what you think and you preach what you think and what you preach you know what i'm saying like you have that one person that